Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Walk and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my first time making oxtail, and I think I did a good job. Stay tuned. First, you want to start off by cleaning your oxtail. I rinsed them a couple of times and ran some vinegar in it. And I also cleaned it with some lime. So. Next, you want to trim off some fat. Don't go too crazy, though. Next, you want to trim up your vegetables. A little trick that I learned is to wet a paper towel and keep it near your onions when you cut it. Therefore, you don't start crying. I think it works. I prefer to cut them in bigger pieces than dicing them. It's my personal preference. Next, you want to cut up your peppers. I didn't add too many pieces of pepper. Like I said, it's your personal preference how many vegetables you want to add. And the last vegetable I added to my oxtail with green onion. You can take your knife and cut it. But I have this herb scissors that I really enjoy. It cuts everything to little pieces. Cuts the time in half, basically. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Now you want to season your oxtail. Season it with garlic, onion, black pepper, allspice, some soy sauce, and browning, and you can't forget the green sauce. I also had some oxtail seasoning. If you don't have it, you don't really need it, but I just used it because I had it. And I also had some thyme, but it wasn't shown. Put that all together, mix it real good. Get those gloves on first, but mix it real good. Cover and store in the refrigerator, preferably overnight. If you can't do it overnight, at least four to six hours. The next day, add some oil to your pot or pan and brown your oxtail on all sides. It's crazy how uh, I was able to fit all my pieces in this pot. It started flowing good too, I don't know. I just started putting it in the pot and it started flowing up my kitchen. I'm so excited to be making this. I was nervous at first, but in the long run it came out for what I expected. Here I'm flipping the oxtail, making sure, like I said, I'm browning it on all sides. Now the key 
to making good oxtails is adding hot water every 30 minutes. So starting off, I added a cup of hot water. Cover, make sure you let it simmer on medium to low heat. And check it every 30 minutes. Right now I just added some garlic, some minced garlic. I didn't have fresh garlic, but minced garlic is fine. I just added my scotch bonnet pepper. You can add it in the beginning, but I added it in the middle. Don't forget, keep on adding your hot water. I add about a cup of hot water each time. Give it a good stir. Cover it. You're doing this for about three and a half, four hours total. So it takes time. Be patient. Make sure about three hours you start checking your meat, seeing if it's getting tender. Right now it's just how I like it. So I'm able to add my vegetables. And now you got about another 30, 45 minutes. Add your ketchup, your brown sugar, and your beans to the pot. Give it a good stir and cover it. I'm so ready to eat this. When I was mixing it, I was like, oh, it smells good already. <laughs> At this point, it's been four hours of cooking. Unfortunately, my gravy wasn't as thick as I would like it, so I went ahead and added a cornstarch slurry, which is a combination of cornstarch and water. It thickens it up. Another way you could thicken your gravy is to take some of the beans and smush them. That's a little trick. But I'm so ready to plate this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So while the oxtail was cooking, I also made some rice and peas and some baked macaroni and cheese to go on the side. Look at that. You gotta have sauce. You can't have oxtail without extra sauce. Don't you agree? And now the moment of truth. The tender test, it was so tender. And now the taste test, I think I did a great job. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try this recipe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Fork and Fly. Leave a comment and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.